of heaven is the same ideal procedure is going to happen with this sign. God shows the sign. Now a procedure is going to take place that's going to lead to something quite drastic uh, uh, for a lot of people, you know, that has been sleeping spiritually, that has not questioned and researched the ideals of the ideal reason why Paul says put on the whole armor of God and he tells us to do it twice. You know what I'm saying? That I believe the evil day is approaching. But the thing is, I believe it's the ideal of First Thessalonians that five that it talks about that the times and the seasons that you know that it describes the woman in travail that uh that we are supposed to get ready for the armor put on the armor of a light pretty much it says in Romans 13 and and it says in 2 Corinthians 6 it says put on the armor of righteousness pretty much and you know about put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6 but this always been about a war it, it always been about a war so I don't know what if you're surprised and shocked about what I'm giving you that indicates that you have you you haven't been studying the word of God but you've been listening to these fables about the ideal of what's going to happen concerning the word of God the word of God concerning revelation based upon the word of God you know what I'm saying not what everybody else is saying or what everybody want to happen but what the word of God is saying is what you're supposed to be following if you want to follow the word of God concerning his divine plan and not what you're the fantasy of Christians that want to get raptured without this event happening but this war is going to take place just like it says in Revelation 12 I mean um, if you keep reading that, I keep showing people uh, that it's going to take place to be ready to be about being the children of the light is what you just need to be understanding. Get ready for the children of the light and children of darkness. It's going to collide. It is. But the topic of the message is, now I was talking about yesterday, 3H Nation, I was talking in a video about altogether filthy that you know it says in um psalms uh, 14 and psalms 20, psalms 53 that david talks about all they're becoming altogether filthy and pa paul talks about it in romans 3 of what you know quote pretty much qu quoting the idea of what king david said in psalms and breaking it down now i'm God told, told me that uh, I did a I did I remember doing a um three H nation scripture of this of First Corinthians five and four and five that you know but now it's time to uh get things in one accord it's time to, for you to understand it's time for you to get in one accord or more likely us to come all together you know what I'm saying. And, of course, let me read the scripture. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we all gather together, not divided, but together, in my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ to deliver such a one unto Satan for destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of of in the day of the Lord Jesus. Now, in the day of the Lord Jesus, could that be talking about the rapture right there? The day of our Lord Jesus. Now, um, interesting about the scripture that I'm talking about, if you go to Revelations 12, it talks about um the ideal of of you know that it talks about in the 10th verse. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation strength in the kingdom of our Lord God and the power of his Christ. It says the power of his Christ. Now, could that be talking?
talking about, you know, uh, can, I want to pair, it says the power of his Christ. See, it says the power of his Christ in there. And I'm talking about in 1 Corinthians uh, 5 about the same really ideal. And it says, and it says with, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, and it talks about the next verse about the day of the Lord Jesus. So what this is talking about, you know, about uh, it's, you know, um, about gathering together. But but this really is talking about that I have been protesting a whole lot. I guess I thought, you know, Christians are supposed to be Protestants, you know, that protest against not just the Catholic Church, but protest against any lie that, you know, come upon concerning the knowledge of the truth, you know what I'm saying, of God's word, you know, I'm protesting the idea of the division that is going on in the church, that has been going on in the church for a long time, and everybody's wondering, where's the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, everybody's, where's the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, Where, why, where's the power of resurrection, where's the power of healing, where's the power of deliverance, where... Paul says in here, it says the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we gather together, not be divided, you know what I'm saying, but gather together in my spirit with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. There, that, there's what, a reason why there, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ is not being effective right now because there's a lot of division or a lot of separation between a lot of churches and, and it's based upon doctrine. And as I, you know, go to 1 Corinthians 1, that talks about the idea of, uh, of, of, of coming, of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, it says, even as uh, it starts, let me read uh, 1 Corinthians first chapter, Six verse, even as the testimony of Christ confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you seeing a pattern here? In the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship, not to the religionship, but called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye, that ye all speak the same thing, that not, not the different doctrine but the same thing and that there be no divisions and it says divisions plural not division but it says divisions plural among you but that ye be perfectly joined together see this together in the same mind and same judgment and that ideal same judgment means same, making same decisions. You know what I'm saying? We make the same decisions that we're supposed to make as people that are of the Lord Jesus at his coming. It says the day of our, it, I mean, look at the word. I mean, the word speaks for itself. It's just so amazing looking at it. And of course, everybody is playing dumb and like saying, uh, what do you mean, Mac? Uh, we're supposed to be operating in Denominations. We're supposed to be operating in a, a divisions, you know, plural divisions, Mac. And and or or we are about Jesus Christ, even though we're operating in divided, but we're still about it, you know. Uh, it's some drastic, crazy things you'll find out concerning you go to YouTube and or go to Google of people ideal interpretation of what is the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's amazing. But I'm look, those that are truly sincere about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
those are truly sincere about the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, hearken unto me. That means hear me with urgency. Uh, this is what needs to be the protocol. I mean, I mean, Christians talking about, oh, I can't wait when I get raptured, you know, you know, and it's like they're not understanding that. Wait a minute, uh, a pro are they uh, Christians that are speaking against the ideal of the division of the church or divisions of the church? Are they speaking against the religious system of the church? Are they speaking against the uh, tradition of the church that Jesus? clearly spoke against in the word of God? Are they, you know, uh, truly about gathering together, uh, gathering together cleanly? You know what I'm saying? Or more likely, yeah, yeah, that's the topic of this message, the reality of gathering together cleanly because it, we're supposed to be as what it says in um, 1 Corinthians uh uh, one and eight. We're supposed to be. It says, "Be may be blameless, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ." There, as what it says in uh, Ephesians, "Without spot, no wrinkle, blemish." You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be without spot, no wrinkle, no blemish? Well, it's the understanding is that we're supposed to be uh, following the instructions of the Word of God concerning that I used to talk fellowship. We're supposed to be coming into the fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ. That I always, I got too many scriptures about fellowship is supposed to be the agenda of the church more than conferences and more than these uh, revivals and camp meetings and all this. We're supposed to be establishing places of fellowships that Christians can come together and talk about the word of God that we will be of the, as what it says, same mind, same judgment, no division. That's what fellowship is supposed to be the agenda. If if we're going to come all together cleanly, we must be doing it by the basis of fellowship. It's supposed to be the agenda, not all these events. You know, people got conferences and, you know, revivals and, uh, you know, camp meetings and all. No, we're supposed to come together in fellowship as what the scripture says, you know, that has been, you know, uh, that's been there. Now it says, of course, Ephesians uh, 5 and 27, or, or no, I'm finna start at the 25th. Uh, husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the word, I mean, washing of the water by the word that ye, that might present to you himself a glorious, not having spot or wrinkle in any such thing, but that, that should be holy without blemish. You know what I'm saying? This is what the agenda, but that can only happen as much as we gather together according to what 1 Corinthians 5 and 4 and 5 is talking about. And that if we want to truly operate in the power of God that it talks about in Revelation 12, that we operate in the power of Christ. We're not operating the power of Christ right now. You know what I'm saying? We're not the healing and the deliverance and the resurrections and the power is not happening right now. But there, this event that's going to proceed is going to establish that idea that I hope you understand and you be ready to pretty much submit and surrender and follow suit according to the word of God to operate in the kingdom of God and no more of the religion system of this world system, but the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God is give you a hint suffer with violence and the violence take it by force that I'll leave you with and that's the message so get ready to come all together cleanly and truly be about the will of God if you truly want to be about the will of God that's about the coming and the rapture of the Lord Jesus Christ that I hope you understand all right that's the message God be the glory him forever and ever in Jesus name amen come together cleanly